The drive down Interstate 2059 in Tuscaloosa is not exactly a quick one these days. The speed limit is 45 while crews widen the road from two lanes on each side to three. The work starts at exit 73 McFarland Boulevard and stretches to exit 77 Buttermilk Road. So by three laning this from Jefferson County all the way down to Tuscaloosa, it'll definitely increase your mobility, safety. Workers will also be installing a new bridge going over McFarland Boulevard, and the construction doesn't stop there. Crews are also widening and resurfacing Lurleen B. Wallace Boulevard from University Boulevard all the way to 12th Street. I mean, luckily Nick Saban has dominated in football, so fans are leaving at, you know, in the second half, and so we haven't had much trouble at all with uh, people leaving the stadium. The focus is not only on resurfacing and expanding Lurleen B. Wallace Boulevard, it's also on replacing decades old utilities under the ground. So that's why sometimes it may take a little bit longer than usual for you to see some um, progress. But Aldot says both projects are on schedule. Lurleen Wallace set to be finished in December of 2019 and Interstate 2059 in December of 2020. In Tuscaloosa, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13. A man exposed himself